I've never built a cardboard boat, but I am uh, just absolutely fascinated about the option of building a uh, cardboard boat and having it uh, see if it'll float. Uh, and that's something a lot of people are going to be doing to help out the Special Olympics in our area. And joining us today to talk about that is Tara Nickerson. She is the Assistant Director for Region H of the Springfield uh, Special Olympics. Tara, thanks for taking time with us this morning. Uh, this is pretty exciting. A fun yeah. event. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. We're really excited about it. This is our third year doing this event, and it's grown each year. Um, it's a really fun challenge, not only for kids, but even for adults. Um, to just get creative. Basically, you start with a cardboard box or several cardboard boxes. Um, and you can use duct tape. You can use glue. You can use certain materials. All the rules are on the registration website. Uh, but you can't use things like wood. Uh, you know, you're not going to be able to use styrofoam, um, those types of things. But basically, you're going to try to build a boat that will theoretically float and that you can paddle uh, to a destination and back. It's a race. So we're going to give an award for the fastest boat. We're going to give an award for the fastest sinking boat. And <laughs> <laughs> so even those who fail are going to possibly, if you fail the fastest, That's right. uh, you could get yourself a, a prize. That's right. We're going to have some fun with this. And then we're also going to give an award for the most creative boat. We have a sponsor right now that's been working on their boat for like a month. Oh, wow. And they're building like a Viking ship. Oh, I mean, they're going all out. So the boat could be as big or as small as you want, but it does have to be able to hold whoever your crew is. Wow. So you could have a two-man crew or you can have a five-man crew. Um, the only wood allowed on the boat is your paddles. Mm. Okay. Yes. So when is this happening? Of course, uh, you know, you got some planning that's going to have to happen and yes. uh, the engineering of uh, trying to get a cardboard <laughs> boat to float. Uh, but uh, when when's the, uh, the I guess, the launch date? Right? That is going to happen on Labor Day weekend at Sheedy Shores Wine Garden. It's going to happen on the Sunday of Labor Day weekend. That's September 3rd. So people can put it on their calendars. The race is at 1 o'clock. You'll show up a little bit before that to get signed in and let your boat be inspected to make sure it's up to code. Um, but basically, everyone's going to wear a life preserver because we know how this works. There is a good chance yes. that certain people aren't going to make it back in the boat. Um, and so it's it's a safe thing. It's a fun thing. It's a family-friendly event. And we welcome teams that are kids 13 and under, or we welcome teams that are 14 and over. So adults fit into that category. And we will. We'll have, we'll have young kids doing this project. We'll have adults doing this project. Um, and it's all to raise money for special. Olympics, Illinois. It's a great cause, and you're going to have a ton of fun with this uh, just to test your engineering capabilities when it comes to building a uh, a boat made out of cardboard. Uh, so any tips that you have for people when it comes to trying to think of how to make this thing float? Historically speaking, lots of duct tape can okay. help, right. but you also don't want to use so much of it that you it weighs you down. Ah, because okay. you know. So um, different people have come up with different theories to be honest, I'm not an engineering person. I'm going to be on the <laughs> sidelines cheering everyone on and helping to organize the event. But we're going to have a food truck. We're going to have Kona Ice. We're going to have music. Um, Sheedy Shores Wine Garden is a fun place to hang out on a Sunday afternoon anyway. So we encourage people, even if they just want to cheer on the boats, they can come out. They can donate towards their favorite boat. Because again, it is a fundraiser. Uh, the entry for the boat is only $50. Wow, so right it's on. not very expensive to enter a boat into the race. Um, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Is there a cap on the number of teams? Uh, we have not put a cap historically on the number of teams. So we welcome you and people can sign up right until the Friday before. Oh, wow. Now after the Friday before we close the registration just so we can get like the flights and everything sure. uh, you know mapped out. But um, it's going to be an awesome event. If people want more information or to read what the rules are on how they have to construct these boats, they should go to our Facebook page because that's where we have the event hosted. Um, um, they could also go to the Special Olympics Illinois website and on the calendar, click on the cardboard boat regatta. But the Facebook page is the best place to find all the information you need, the link to register, and everything else. Tara Nickerson with us. She is the Associate Director for uh, Region H of the Special Olympics and a uh, cardboard boats uh, regatta going to be happening on Labor Day, September 3rd. Uh, and you can register. It's $50. That's, uh, that's cheap to be able to get in uh, on this event, and it all helps raise 
raise funds for Special Olympics. Tara, let's talk about Special Olympics. Of course, this is a great fundraiser, but uh, uh, the the Special Olympics itself, uh, just just talk about the importance of uh, young people getting involved in Special Olympics. Yeah, you know, Special Olympics Illinois provides athletic um, sports programming for people with intellectual disabilities. So whether someone has autism, they have Down syndrome, or any number of intellectual disabilities, they can participate. We have athletes locally that are participating in things like volleyball, softball, powerlifting, soccer, um, gymnastics, and um, so many more. We actually provide programming for 18 different types of sports. And um, this is something where if, if you ask a family that has a family member that participates in Special Olympics, they will tell you it not only changes the athlete, but it changes the dynamic in the family to be able to rally around these athletes and celebrate their abilities instead of focusing on what their disabilities are. And that's what Special Olympics Illinois does. We've been doing it for over 50 years, and uh, we want to continue to do it at no cost to the athletes or their families. Well, I know there's been a polar plunge in the past where <laughs> yes. people uh, jump into a freezing <laughs> Lake Springfield. Uh, this is a little different. Yes. It's going to be nice out, uh, yes. but you likely are still going to be plunging into water uh, with a uh, with a cardboard boat. Uh, but back to Special Olympics, uh, talk about uh, the, the uh, events that are coming up outside of the fundraisers, but the actual games that yeah. uh, that are uh, hosted. So we actually in June had our summer games in um, in Bloomington Normal at ISU. That's kind of the state level competition for things like um, uh, powerlifting, gymnastics, soccer, wow. and several others, track and field. But now we're moving into another season. We've got our softball tournament coming up on July 29th at the Land of Lincoln Softball Complex. We are inviting people to volunteer. You can go to our website for information on how to volunteer. I promise you, if you've never been to a Special Olympics event and you come, it will be life changing. It makes you realize that so much more is possible, you know, um, and these athletes will inspire you to live a better life, uh, to be a better person. I mean, they really do this for me each and every day. Um, so come on out July 29th. Spectators are welcome. Again, we'll be at Land of Lincoln uh, Softball Complex starting at 9 a.m. and the event will go all day, but you'll get to see athletes from all over the state competing in softball. And uh, don't forget about the fundraiser raising efforts. Of course, uh, it's going to be Labor Day, uh, September 3rd, and uh, a cardboard boat race. Uh, so get your team together now and start crafting that. Uh, go through again just the, uh, I guess, what's allowed. Can they get like, you know, pine grease and pine tar or something to, <laughs> to kind of like coat the boat so it doesn't uh, get susceptible to water? Or So it says that, this is the rules, cardboards can be made of only cardboard, glue, paint, and tape. They cannot use materials like liners, plastic, PVC, wood, uh, or tarps. So there's, there's, you got to get creative with the waterproofing. Duct tape has become the <laughs> item of choice. So if you see duct tape on clearance and you're planning on participating, buy it all. Yeah. And <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun, though. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this. I've, I've seen uh, similar events where. It gets crazy. Uh, the ideas that are brought to the to the lake, uh, you're going to see just uh, incredible, inventive uh, things. Uh, some people are going to look like they 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 pulled a drawing out of a Michelangelo sketchbook <laughs> or a Leonardo right. da Vinci sketchbook or something. Yes. Uh, others are going to be just real simple. And it'll be interesting, uh, Tara, to see which ones really do stay afloat. That's right. So sometimes when people get too creative, like I'm a little worried about this Viking ship that yeah. this. Uh, uh, local businesses building because the reality is the the bigger it is the heavier it's oh, yeah. going to be and so i would think your risk of of sinkage becomes greater <laughs> but again we give awards for the yeah. most creative the fastest sinker and the fastest boat so there's there's an opportunity for everyone to win and uh, maybe you get two of those prizes <laughs> uh, maybe you make something that's so elaborate that's over the top uh, but it also sinks the fastest that's right uh, so maybe that's their goal who knows uh tara nickerson uh the Associate Director for Region H for Special Olympics here talking about the Labor Day Cardboard Boat Regatta uh, and give us the website where people can get more information. So I highly recommend people go to Facebook and just search for Special Olympics Illinois Region H. Uh, but also if you just Google Special Olympics Illinois Cardboard Boat Regatta, you're going to find the information you need to get signed up and be a part of this awesome event. Well, Tara, thank you so much for uh, letting us know about this and looking forward on Labor Day to, to checking this out and seeing just what uh, 
uh, which boats uh, sink the fastest yes. and which ones are able to uh, sustain uh, the water. So yeah, thank greatly you appreciate so much. It. I appreciate you having me. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMA.